Good afternoon, apps two. This is James. Okay, so here is my app. It is a sample uh, slicer kind of thing. What I have is um, pretty much just the run of the mill recording uh, setup. It's a toggle that records into a buffer set to 10 seconds. And then when you untoggle it, it um, crops the buffer and uh, sets the length. So just, you know, pretty basic. Uses the timer, kind of just covering my bases. And then here I have the waveform tilde. Now, uh, hiding in front of the waveform tilde is this um, XY pad. It's a picked slider. If I unlock it, you can kind of see that I've just set the translucency that you can see the waveform tilde, but what you're actually interacting with is the uh, uh, pick slider, which is set to control the two parameters, which are on the x-axis, the... Um, uh, the uh, what what basically is my little configuration, which uh, this um, slider is controlling. Slider controls this number, which um, which in turn sends the positions to all these places where you can load a, a sample a sample position, and uh, it packs it together with the um, the trigger of the sample, which comes from this keyboard. Send. I'm using all pretty much sends and receives, uh, just to keep things a, a little bit cleaner. Not that it's clean as it is, but it's better than it could be. Um, so um, these ten sample spots, what they include is the received from the zone, which is the send zone one, etc. Send zone two. This comes through a selector out of my case slider, uh, as well as uh, the position which is coming out of this uh, slider here, which in turn comes from the x-axis of my uh, uh, overlay of the uh, um, waveform tilde. Uh, and then the third criteria, I, I'm not using speed here. Maybe I'll save that for uh, version 2. But the third criteria that I am using is <coughs> the uh, length of the loop. Now, that is... Um, I've combined a BPM. Right now I have it set to 20 here, and it's um, and it goes through this little math equation. I'll get this out of the way here. My presentation information is showing up in uh, patcher view. Uh, so the BPM goes, as I change the BPM, it goes through this equation, and it translates to milliseconds. So basically that's, uh, that's how I get like a loop length that actually corresponds to um, you know, uh, uh, an eighth note, for example, because it's going through, well, here, for example, the, that th where I started was a quarter note, and that's just times one of the milliseconds. So quarter note being the basic. Uh, I wanted half note triplets, and then, so, you know, you just have to punch in the equation for milliseconds, and then it gets that. Uh, so as I change the BPM, everything updates automatically, and um, all I have to do to output that to the loop lengths of all this, uh, zone selections is to uh, select it on this, but um, thankfully I don't have to actually touch this knob because it's set to the y-axis of this. Um, so it's it's kind of looks like an impressive setup, but um, I haven't quite yet made it work musically in a in a way that I'd feel good about taking it out on a a gig or anything. Uh, last step in the chain is um, once I select my, once basically first I, I set my my sample points with these little gates, these toggles. So I set that one. So you see how that's setting the number here. Disactivate that, activate this. So you see what's happening is each time I enable this, it's, um, it's like a map mode or something, and then you basically store the number there, and it sends it down to the corresponding p 
position. So once you get all these loaded, then all you have to do is uh, select the appropriate loop length and uh, and trigger it on here. And again, sorry, I got sidetracked there. The last step in the chain was um, the pitch. It's a repitcher. I, right now, I think it's F sharp or uh, G sharp is the uh, basic pitch, but uh, or is the untransposed pitch. But um, but yeah, I'll be looking to fix that. So so you can play. Hopefully, if I ever get it mapped to a keyboard in real life, it would be kind of left hand plays the sample position, right hand plays the uh, uh, the re the repitching of it. Or uh, you pick one hand for the keyboards, and then have your second hand on on the waveform. If if you had suppose like you yeah, um, Myra or or Touch OSC or or Lemur have an iPad maybe or a touch screen. What would be nice is a giant see-through touch display where you can see the waveform, put one finger on it to select the playback zone and then um, have your finger, other keyboard hand playing the pitch. Um, and all you have to do is to th achieve that would be to leave one of these gates open. And um, so, okay, probably too much detail there, but let's see it in action. Uh, presentation view, here we come. You know what it means to miss New Orleans and miss it each night and day. You know what it means. You know what it means. No, 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 what it means to what it, what it means to miss to miss. To miss New Orleans, miss New Orleans, New Orleans, and miss it, and miss, miss it each night and day, each night, each, each night and day, each night, night and day, night and day. You know what it means. You know what it means to miss New Miss New Orleans at each night and day. Each night, miss New Night. You know Orleans. You know what it means. Night, miss New Orleans. Night, miss New Orleans. You know what it means. You know what it means. You know what it means. Night and day. Miss New Orleans. You know what it means to miss New Orleans and miss it each night and day. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 